Hey, thank you for joining me today. Going to be reviewing a beer. I've seen um, two other beer reviews on it. There might be a lot more, but two of the guys that I watch have reviewed it, and now it's my turn. I live in the Atlanta area, so I'm going to be doing, don't call it Hot Lana, Quadruple Dry Hop IPA. Now, here's the story with that. I moved to the Atlanta area in 1998. And I can assure you that I've heard Atlanta referred to as Hotlanta multiple times. Multiple, it's hot here. Multiple times. But the funny thing was, a couple weeks ago I'm driving home listening to the radio. Normally I listen to satellite radio. Um, but I was driving a car that didn't have a satellite radio in it and a um, local station. And part of the radio station promo was, you remember back when people used to call Atlanta Hotlanta? Yeah, neither do we. Okay, well, they haven't been here very long then, because I tell you, I've been here 23 years. I've definitely heard it called Hotlanta. But this Monday Night Brewing Company's beer called Don't Call It Hotlanta. Well, I'm going to drink it. If it's good, maybe I'll stop calling it Hotlanta. But if it's not good, I'm going to go ahead and call it Hotlanta. And I want to break out my massive glass again for this one, just because I love it so much. Quadruple dry hopped IPA Monday night brewing from Atlanta Georgia she's got a deep growl when you pour it into this glass I like it though because I can hard pour this baby she's not gonna overflow I say this looks like a pint yep 16 fluid ounces this is a 50 ounce glass like the heads way up to here Beer's way down here. We got nothing but time. Not in a hurry. Just came in from swimming. I'm already cooled off. So let's just read what the can says while the beer's settling down. Dank Tropical Hoppy. Drink cold. No. Keep cold. Drink fresh. This is 8.5% alcohol by volume. Quadruple dry hops, but it doesn't say on here what kind of hops they used. I don't like to do too much investigating on the beers that I review. I just like to drink them without having all those thoughts put into my mind. I should be tasting this, that, and the other thing. No, I don't want to know that. I want to drink it and then see if I taste this, that, and the other thing. If I do, they got it right. But if they say it should taste like this, that, and the other, and it doesn't, then they didn't get it right. It could still be a good beer, but they didn't get it right. So I don't like to prejudice my mind by reading too much of the info on the can. So luckily, this didn't have too much info. And this is looking marvelous. And I tell you, this is a heavy glass. This is a good workout. I got I got to start using my other hand. Otherwise, I'm going to have a freaking big monster arm and this one's going to be all skinny. Let's see what she smells like. She's definitely hazy. I don't smell dank. I smell oranges. That's the only scent I'm getting off of this is oranges. It's got a got a nice frothy head. I'm thirsty though. Let me get some of this into me. Cheers. Mmm. It's luscious. I can taste the alcohol. Barely. Eight and a half percent. That puts this in the imperial category, so this is a banger. This'll this'll get you going. This bottom of this glass is so big it it hangs off the edge of my coasters. Love it though. Mmm. It's good. Citrusy smell. I said orange. That's the only citrus I got on the head was orange. The after I swallow it on the back end, get a little bit of that um, grapefruit pith. Pith is the white stuff between the the peel and the fruit itself. Um, on oranges, pith I actually think tastes very nice. It's very nice to eat. Um, on grapefruits, the pith is is bitter. So this does have that bitterish flavor. Not too bad though. It's it's a nice pleasant balance because the beer is not too sweet. It smells like orange. 
little citrus flavor, not too sweet. And then it finishes with that little bitter on the back end, which I like. It's a, it's a great beer. It is. Um, I don't know why, but I was expecting to, I was expecting it to be a little bit more. Um, it's kind of got a, it's kind of thin feeling in the mouth, but that's okay. It's a good beer. I don't remember. I bought a four pack of this. Um, I think I, I sent one up to uh, Beer for Breakfast Factory Snacks up in Canada. Um, there was one more missing. I thought I gave one to Blue Ice, but um, he said he bought his at a, at a store over there. So I don't know who I gave the other one to, but <clears throat> one's missing. Maybe I drank it. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But I'm going to close it out. It's a good beer. They call it Don't Call It, don't call it Hotlanta. Um, you can call it Hotlanta if you want. I'm going to continue to do it. I'm not a native here. Was not born here. Moved here later in life. So, I'll call it whatever I want to call it. So, not a Falcons fan either. Go Bucks. Buccaneers. Football. All right. Well, she's big. She's powerful at 8.5% alcohol. Great beer. Like I say, not sweet. That little bit of bitterness is just the perfect amount for it. I'm giving it a thumbs up. Monday night brewing out of Atlanta, Georgia. Don't call it hot, Atlanta. Quadruple dry hopped IPA. Coming in at 8.5% ABV. So if you can find it, it's worth buying. And 8.5% alcohol. This is like two beers of, you know, whatever you normally drink. Budweiser, Miller. It's like two, but I guarantee you, one of these, you'll feel it a whole lot quicker than drinking two of what you usually drink. I promise you, if you don't believe me, you always drink the same thing. Go grab something different and drink it. You'll feel it quicker. So, thanks for stopping by the Hardport Pub in ATL. There it is. Pay us a visit. You're always welcome here at the Hardport Pub. Remember, bring a friend with you, because everybody's welcome here. Till next time. Mm. Yep.